This ain't a rap In conclusion, song. It's red pill that rage. Season. This ain't a rap song. Big aura. It's red pill rage. Big lumber. This ain't a rap song. Big it's red pill food. rage. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed the red pills to true. Forget to marry life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world. When you're getting it like that, you can pick out a girl. When you chase your own dreams, you can become a swirl. As many as you want, straight hair or curl. We about to get into Britney now. She is back. And Britney is not playing around. Hold on, let me get, to get that video back. All right, let's talk about Britney real quick. All right. First of all, I got to tell you, Britney is a pretty girl. Pretty girl, small, short, petite. Any man that's not on his game can get sucked in by a woman like this. Really, really, really easy. Especially a man who is not in control of his desires. And I've stressed that to guys. The best way to quick your, to fix your desires is to do a no fap. You must go. Uh, uh, you must go months. Maybe years learning not to watch porn, learning not to please yourself in order for you to master being in front of women like this and not saying or doing the wrong thing or falling for their spell because that's typically what girls like this do is cast spells. So a woman like this cast spell over an NBA player, PJ Washington, trapped him in to having a child now he's a baby father, right? Now she's a baby mom getting paid a lot of money every month to take care of a child. They say 150, some say 200,000. Either way, that's too much money for a woman to be getting paid for a child. But when you look at someone like PJ, who's, un, who's untrained, he's not in control of his desires, then he's looking at it like this. I want my I want my kid to have the, everything in the world. I want my kid to be taken care of. That's how she's getting 200000 a month is due to his weakness. But he's also made a mistake of going out, getting in a relationship with another thotty. A lot of guys think like this because they may take a hit heartbreak wise, but his pockets are still not drained. So he still feel like he has a lot. He, he still feels like he has a lot of power to come back into the dating game. The way a lot of these guys are built nowadays, this is just common nature. But this video right here is going to be Britner, Brittany back on the prowl. Looking for a new come up. And looking for a stepdad. First thing I want guys to understand this now. Women are having children for a job. This is why you're seeing so many help wanted signs at stores. Women ain't got to do that. They finding suckers every single day on Tinder, on Instagram. They mainly hunting on Instagram. That's what they doing. Trying to find the ball players and, and, the, and, the, and the football players. But those guys are starting to shorten up. And the reason why those guys are starting to shorten up is because a lot of those guys are catching on to women like this. That are hanging out in the hotel. They're starting to see the same girls at the party. And also, Red Pill is taking off. You have a lot of guys that are watching that. And then you have the guys that, that like, like, like Myron on Players Club that sit in the back of the strip club. And he's the one that, that that's doing the back page. And he the one that that's sending the money on Instagram. They mainly survive off of guys like that, that they would never see, but just have the money just to communicate with them. That's how most of these girls survive. But Brittany, she knew how to weasel her way into the industry and became a industry thought because she knew how to move. She knew what circles to be around. She knew how to manipulate. But you want to know what she knew how to do the best? Have sex. That's where girls like this get the guys. That's how Karen Stevens was able to sleep with so many celebrities. Four book deals. Multi-millions of dollars. Just by, just by saying how good she was in bed and the celebrities are okay at it. Why are the celebrities okay in it? It's not a big deal to them. We'll get to that later. But let's get to Britney and see what she got to talk about. It's officially stepdaddy season. Yeah, what up? I got the car seat in the back. Let's go to the park. <laughs> Don't let your baby mama or your baby daddy block your blessings. I know in theory it sounds good keeping the same person to have kids with. 
but that's insanity as well. So if it doesn't work out with them, it'll work out with someone else. That's how they think. You notice how she said the car seats in the back. It's all a joke to her. It's all a game to her. She can have fun. Why she can have fun and not take it serious? Because she did not have to work for the child. She did not have to work for the success. She did not have to work for the things that she wanted. She doesn't have to take it serious. That's just like you get around some pretty girls. They don't know what negativity is. And the reason why a lot of girls don't know what negativity is, is because most people get around pretty girls and just become weak around them. They baby them because of the way that they look. That's what, that's what you're seeing here with Brittany. She weaseled her way in to get a constant paycheck. Constant paycheck. Now she wants to talk about dating with a child dating with a child is starting to become a trend and you want to know what makes it so bad it's because now they're doing it intentionally now women are having kids intentionally just to have child support set up in the long run that's what makes women having children now it's because it has nothing to do with love and all for survival with no emotions attached let's get to it okay it just will that's how that goes and trust me i know it's ghetto <laughs> it is so ghetto being a baby mama and thinking about multiple baby daddies is scary but mm, me and my baby gonna be all right we're gonna be all right so we move with two hundred thousand dollars a month they are gonna be all right but as he come up out of the NBA, all of that will be getting adjusted. Don't get it twisted. She's going to be extra good. And women in her position become extra good too. Moving forward, onward, upward, okay? I know a lot of you are skeptical about talking to people with children, but I can assure you, the baby mamas now, today, we don't give a damn. You can have them. I have exited the rat race i am not a threat i want you to be around for a long time not a good time you can hold my son put him on your story i trust his judgment i really do i really really do i just want you guys to be happy i swear see what she's saying is she wants the baby dad she wants whatever guy she's dating to also step in and play the fatherly role whenever the father's not around that's what she's saying that's what she's saying right there. See, kids are tools for women. They're just tools. That's it. The first thing that a woman's going to do whenever she loves you is have a child for free. Understand that. The first guy that she falls in love with, that's going to be the free child. And every woman's going to do that. Every baby mama. The first guy is always the guy that they truly love because that's the trap child. The next children after that would be the guy that pays for them. That's how that works. I do. Now, I'm not a threat, but you know, I can't speak for the other, 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 other hoes that you don't know about. You know, maybe the odds have be in your favor. See, she's fully aware. She can laugh at all of everybody else's situation. You have to understand that some of these girls, they think they bosses and they getting 500 a month. They think they bosses and they getting 1,000. You know what I'm saying? She getting 200,000. That's how come she's bragging about the other girls. Now, what does this do? For one, it makes women say, I want to match her. She got 200,000. Let me see how much I can get out of it. Let me see how much I can get out of a guy so I can get online and brag about it too. That's all it's doing. All she's doing that you guys don't see, that I see, is she's being sarcastic to other girls, telling, showing other girls, look, you see how quickly I got somebody that had a lot of money to have a child with, now I'm paid. I could come on here and pretty much pick out my next baby dad or a guy to come in and be a father to the child. She's showing exactly how valuable less a man is at being a father in a relationship because she's so caught up into what the child has benefited her. 
but I am here for it, okay? Like, people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. It just wasn't going to work out. Let's laugh together. And She knew it wasn't going to work out. She knew, she knew from the jump that it wasn't going to work out. See, girls like this are going to get it two ways. They're going to trap them. If she trap them, and it's already looking like she can win before the marriage, trust me, she ain't going to go through with the marriage. And the reason why she ain't going to go through with the marriage is because it's going to take too long for everything to come to her during the divorce. Divorces take years to clear. So she's not thinking that. You got to understand, Brittany is a professional thotty. Look at how many other guys that she's been with in the industry before she trapped PJ. She didn't already learn from other guys what to do. She didn't already found out how lawyers work. She didn't already see other celebrities move. Look at all the guys that she's dated before him. She was already experienced. So understand with her, this is what it's like when you aim, shoot, and win, and you were in control the whole time. Let's raise this baby, you know? <laughs> Remember, she's laughing this off. Just look at her laugh. You got to understand, that's the devilish laugh. There's no love to the child. The child is just a tool. <laughs> oh, it is ghetto. It's so fucking ghetto. <laughs> um, in conclusion, stepdaddy season. Big aura, big lumber, big follow through need only apply. All right, this is where this is where she shows the power. She's actually mocking Ben in this. And a lot of you guys don't see that. Why is she saying it's stepdaddy season? She's saying it's stepdaddy season because based off the history with men, based off the way guys are treating her now, based off the way that her life is going, she already know there's plenty of guys standing in line that still want to be with her. There's plenty of guys still in her DM talking about how much money they got and they want to take her out. So what she's saying is, let's see which one of these dudes is going to step up and be a stepdad that got a lot of money. That's what she's aiming for. Which one of these dudes is going to step up and be a stepdad? Oh, looks like it's over with that one. All right.